Well, the Lord has a message for us this morning. He's calling it Chaos, message 395. I had two dreams last night. The first one of the two of the dreams, uh, there were two women and I, and we were told to find a pair of jeans that would fit us. The first pair I tried on was size 11, and it did not fit quite right. The next pair I tried on was size 12, and they fit perfect. As I put on the jeans, I got taller, a lot taller, and slim. I looked like I was in my 20s again, only a lot bigger and stronger. The jeans I got were straight-legged, and the jeans had three shades of blue. The top one-third was a very light blue, then the middle uh, was a medium blue, and at the bottom uh, was a dark blue. They looked great, and, and I felt young and very strong. One of the women that was with me got a pair just like mine, and she was changed too and made bigger, taller, stronger. The third woman uh, found a pair of jeans, and she was changed too, but she did not get uh, taller, and her jeans were not the same as ours. I also remember that we were given riches, but I don't remember what they were. We left the building, and that we got the jeans and changed out onto a dirt field. Then three vehicles came to us, and I knew the woman that got and I that got the same jeans. Just I just knew we had to go out, not on a date, but we had to go out. The uh, other woman with the same jeans as mine got into a fast car. I did not see who the driver was. But the car I got into was white. It was a white sports car, and Jesus was driving. The third woman got into a van uh, that had some other people in it, and then we all drove off. As we know, we all, you know, we have different jobs, so I think that's definitely what this is showing. Um, I looked up the meaning of 11, and it symbolizes disorder, chaos, and judgment. The number 12 symbolizes God's power and authority and serving as a perfect government foundation. In the second dream, my daughter was going to get married. She and all the people were ready and all the, the preparations had been made. But suddenly the house that the wedding was going to be held at was a mess. I started to clean it up but soon saw that it was too much for me to do. And I said that I thought the wedding needed to be postponed. But my daughter said no. She wanted to get married anyway and did not care how much chaos and disorder the house was in. That since the people and everything else was ready, the wedding would be held. I woke up this morning thinking of the song Steal Away and then uh, was led to a song called Steal Away in Jesus when I looked it up. My children... Yes, there is much coming your way, much disorder, chaos, and confusion, as it will be all around you very soon. My people are ready, and the preparations have been made. It makes no difference what order the house is in. I will have my will done. I am in charge, and my people will be set free, just like in the days of Moses, as it is by my might and my power this will be done. Unlike in the days of Moses, I will not take you to new land on this earth. I will bring you home. Do not fear, as I will provide, and I will protect. Know me and trust in me. Abba. It is coming. Trust in the Lord and do not fear, as there is nothing to fear. He will take care of all of us, and he will take us through. We will be fine. I pray the blood of Jesus Christ over all of us, and I pray that every soul come to him now and receive all that he offers. Amen. Soon, I don't think it will be long. Take good care. Bye-bye.